Hello everyone, today I'll be talking about scrambles and why you should use them and different kinds of scrambles. So, first off, why you should use scrambles. Um, even though it seems like hand scrambling gives a good scramble, the reason why you um, shouldn't really do that or avoid hand scrambling is that you will fall into the same patterns. Uh, everyone kind of has a different uh, pattern they do like if you just watch people on YouTube or just in real life do solves um, and scramble use hand using hand scrambles you'll notice that they do um, like very similar moves uh, you'll see so some people will do a lot of M slices or R moves I personally um, I'm pretty I, I do kind of weird thing where I do like U and D at the same time and I do a lot of uh, like R2s and then U or R2 and then U and D so even though it seems like you're getting a good scramble um, it's very likely that you're getting similar cases um, and you don't want to be getting similar cases you want to be getting all sorts of cases so that you can improve so uh, you may end up getting like faster times with hand scrambles and if you use normal scrambles you might get slower times because there's just cases that you haven't really seen before even though like it doesn't feel like you haven't seen them but uh, it's just kind of hard to explain but uh, it makes sense logically so basically use um, generated scrambles as, m as often as possible because um, it'll just uh, make your solving better overall, pretty much. Uh, and interesting with me is, uh, I like, when I hand scramble, I just try to break up as many pairs as possible. Uh, and I did that on purpose at first, but now it's kind of subconscious. Um, so sometimes I can give myself like really hard crosses and stuff. Um, so yeah, you could be actually making yourself slower or faster. Um, but it's really bad for my practice with extended crosses and stuff. Uh, so, another reason why you should use normal scrambles. Also, on things like pure minx and 2x2, two two, if they have a, a generated random scramble, then uh, they're like less than 10 moves, usually. Uh, so, I mean, it's probably even faster than hand scrambling. So, um, now I mentioned like a random state scramble in there. So there's two main types of scrambles. There is random state and then there is uh, what they call old style. So old style is basically just random moves uh, that I guess are just generated randomly. So there's just random moves, that's it. Now random state is that uh, I guess, you know, your computer or whatever, uh, iPhone, whatever you're using, will generate a position, I guess, or um, a state, basically, of, of the cube in a scrambled position, just a random position, and then it will basically reverse solve your cube, so it will figure out the moves to get from the solve cube you have to the uh, certain uh, state or scramble that it has generated and that's how that works and that's what they use in uh, cubing competitions and whatever so it tends to give I guess a more random scramble um, or I really don't know but they're just two different things but I like to use random state just because it comes up with the random cube state and then generates it versus just random moves so I don't really know if it makes a big difference but those are the uh, two main ones so uh, for big cubes um, the main reason I wouldn't use hand scrambling is because uh, 
you tend to give yourself a lot of easy pairs um, just because no one's really patient enough uh, to scramble for a good solid time. I personally don't really use big cubes or scrambles very much. Um, I'm a ma I mainly just do 3x3 so I don't really do uh, 4x4 and up too much. I just hand scramble but I make sure I break up pairs all over the place and give it a good scramble. But at competitions I see people practicing and they'll like scramble for 10 seconds on a 4x4 which is not really long. And there's like 3 1x2s all over the place or there's like there's just pairs everywhere and it's it's not a very good scramble so if you're like that these scrambles will make you faster in the end because then if you you know go to a competition and they have random state scrambles um, you'll kind of be screwed you'll be like 15 seconds slower because there's nothing there for you or what you're used to so uh, just another reason to use scrambles. So, um, that's me ranting about scrambles and whatever, so thank you for watching.